What's up, guys? Matt Brown here for thelines.com, playpicks.com, and I have your NFL betting odds rundown for week six of the NFL. Go ahead, subscribe, rate, review, give us a thumbs up, tell us in the comment section everything that you have going on this week so far in the NFL. Let's kick things off with Thursday night football, Tampa Bay Bucks and the Philadelphia Eagles. You can see right here. One rogue six and a half still out there at DraftKings in favor of the Bucks, but seven across the board in favor of the Bucks. Past that, a total of 51 and a half or 52, depending on where you get it. Tom Brady says his thumb is going to be perfectly fine. So do we believe him? The market believes him. So we shall see here. Um, probably get some more updates later on on Tuesday and Wednesday as to the status of Tom Brady's finger, because of course that would definitely affect this betting line pretty heavily. We have the Miami Dolphins and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Taking a look at this one, guys, we are looking at three and a half points in favor of the Miami Dolphins. We have a total of about 45 and a half. Here, there is a chance Tua Tagovailoa could be back under center for the Miami Dolphins, so that will be the big news here in this one. Of course, the Jacksonville Jaguars are on a trip to hell with Urban Meyer as coach, can't win a game. He's talking nonsense now about he wants them to be a 250-250, as in a 250 passing yards, 250 rushing yards per game team. Of course, the NFL record for most rushing yards averaged per game as a team was the Ravens a couple of years ago at 209. So, yes, this winless Jacksonville team that does half the talent that that team has is going to average 40 more yards rushing than that team did. So yeah, just this is a, this is just a bad, bad situation, which is why you're getting three and a hook on a team as bad as Miami Dolphins uh, here in this thing. Just absolutely crazy what's going on. Green Bay Packers at the Chicago Bears. We are sitting right now, Green Bay Packers, four and a half point favorites. If you're looking at a total in this one, sitting in the 44 and a half, 45 range, Green Bay Packers squeak by with an uh, victory field goal over the Cincinnati Bengals this past week. The Chicago Bears just got a absolutely brain dead Las Vegas Raiders team this past week. Get a win for Justin Fields, but they find themselves four and a half point underdogs here in this one. The Cincinnati Bengals three point road favorites over the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions continue to be scrappy here, and of course they get a last second, literally last second field goal from the. Minnesota Vikings to lose this this past week, and it seems like they are just losing in spectacular fashion. Total of 47 and a half. Let you know kind of what what the market thinks of this game, right? The, the Bengals got a good offense. They're going to score some points. They think the Lions are going to come back and be able to put something up on the board as well. Don't, don't expect this one to be a complete dud, especially when you consider we've seen some low 40s, even some high 30s totals whenever they think games are going to be absolutely terrible this season. Uh, Joe Burrow, did go to the hospital with a bruised throat, but word is that he is going to be okay for the Bengals. Houston Texans are nine and a half point road underdogs to the Indianapolis Colts. Um, some interesting little, uh, some interesting numbers here coming out. It looks like maybe this Caesars book got readjusted somehow, uh, sitting at seven and a half on this one. But yes, this is a. Colts team that ended up going out and and losing in spectacular fashion on Monday night to the Baltimore Ravens, allowing the Ravens to come back and and get that game from them. Just absolutely crazy uh, how they lose that game, allowing the Raiders. To, I mean, allowing the Ravens to score all those points in the fourth quarter, and then of course just march right down in overtime, get the touchdown, and win the game. Houston Texans fought this past week. This team showing a little bit of signs of life. Davis Mills showing a little bit of sign of life. As well, Los Angeles Rams, 10 and a half point favorites on the road at the New York Giants. Of course, New York Giants are going to have basically nobody on the field. Daniel Jones goes down with a concussion. Kenny Galladay down with an injury as well. They were already without Slayton and Shepard. Uh, Saquon Barkley goes down with an ankle injury. This Giants team is going to be an absolute mash unit out there, which is why you see this Rams team is 10 and a half point favorites on the road right now at the Giants. A total a 47 and a half in this one, Kansas city chiefs and the Washington football team, the chiefs after a loss to the bills and not just a loss, a beat down by the bills chiefs were never in the game are six and a half to seven point favorites on the road at the Washington football team, Washington football team though, 
looked really, really bad against the uh, New Orleans Saints this past week. Taylor Heineke certainly looks like teams have figured him out or he just regressing or um, whatever it is. But, man, he is really, really struggling right now. And, of course, this Kansas City defense, one of the worst defenses we've ever seen in the NFL. That's why you're getting a total of 55 and a half in a Chiefs-Washington football team game. Chiefs, again, favored by six and a half or seven on the road in that one. Minnesota Vikings, after that last second field goal, win one and a half point dogs on the road to the Carolina Panthers. Panthers, one and a half point favorites. They look like they might be getting Christian McCaffrey back this week. He practiced a couple of times last week, but just couldn't go this past week. And it looks as if he might be back out there on the field for the Carolina Panthers. Dalvin Cook did not play this past week for the Vikings, so we'll monitor that as well. That being said, Alexander Madison steps right in and fills that void, no problem whatsoever. A different scenario for the Panthers, no doubt about that. Christian McCaffrey, one of the few running backs in the league that I honestly think matters a ton for a team in their success, so we'll see if he can get back out on the field. 46 and a half, your total here in the Vikings and Panthers. Los Angeles Chargers are three and a half point, three or three and a half point road dogs to the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens, again, escape on Monday night football. And what we get with that is them becoming three point favorites over the Chargers. Not sure I really agree with this one. 51 and a half, your total here. This Chargers team has been really good on all facets of the game. You're going to say they gave up a ton of points this past week, Matt, and they definitely did, but they played one the Browns. Browns, one of the most efficient offenses in the league. Um, so interesting line here. No doubt about that one. The Ravens gave up a ton of yards through the air to the Colts. So what's going to happen against Herbert and the chargers? We shall see Arizona Cardinals, two and a half to three point underdogs on the road to the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns were a are a mash unit. This is something to really, really pay attention to here in this one. This is a total of 50 and a half. Half the Browns defense either didn't play or had to leave the game this past week in which they got into a shootout loss to the Chargers. And when I say that, I'm not saying that in hyperbole. If you go look at the guys that either missed the game or had to leave during the game at some point or another, it is basically half the defense. So this is a bad situation for the Browns from an injury standpoint. Offensive line had a couple of injuries as well. We're going to really need to monitor their practice reports here come Wednesday and Thursday and see what we think is going to be happening with this Browns team. If not, this might be a play here on the Cardinals. Los, Angeles, uh, Las Vegas Raiders and the Denver Broncos. This is now Broncos three and a half point favorites against the Raiders. Of course, the big news here. John Gruden resigning from head coach of the Raiders, but it's not just head coach. He's also the play caller, which is why you saw this thing instantly move in the betting market. This thing instantly moved the second that the resignation was announced. 44, 44 and a half, your total here. Broncos did get Teddy Bridgewater back. He was able to clear the concussion protocol this past week, despite the fact that he didn't play all that well. We'll see whenever he heads back home and what he'll look like against a Raiders team that, again, without their head coach and play caller in John Gruden. Dallas Cowboys, four-point road favorites over the New England Patriots. New England Patriots had to fight, claw, and scrap their way back against the Houston Texans this past week, but they do get it done by a field goal. Cover teaser legs if you had them in teasers. They are four or four-and-a-half-point underdogs here to a Cowboys team that I think is very much for real 49 and a half is your total here and what we'll be monitoring is does this Cowboys money start to flow in and is this number we already missed the three there was a this thing opened three at a couple of shops and uh on a kind of an early line that thing's gone so we've already missed that key number of three now it's already all the way to four all the way through the four at one of the books does this keep running because I do think the Cowboys are far superior to the New England Patriots it's just where does the resistance kind of stop? Where does the money stop from the public who is certainly going to be back in the Cowboys in this thing? Seattle Seahawks at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh Steelers are four and a half point to five point home favorites against the Seattle Seahawks. And if you missed the news, you're wondering, wait, 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 how are the Steelers four and a half or five point favorites or anyone? Yes. Russell Wilson is out for four to eight weeks. It says looks like six to eight weeks is the more likely kind of window that he'll be gone had to have surgery on that finger. 
So we will get Geno Smith as quarterback for the Seattle Seahawks. Some news coming out of uh, Pittsburgh as well. Juju Smith-Schuster had to have surgery. He is out for the rest of the season for this Steelers team. Could equal just more work out of the backfield for Najee Harris. So if you are holding Najee Harris, Rookie of the Year, the, uh, Offensive Rookie of the Year tickets, probably feeling pretty good at this point because the quarterbacks certainly have not come along to seize that award market at all. Jamar Chase, your leader right now, uh, through five weeks, but certainly wide open and certainly open for Najee Harris to kind of slip into that market as well. Finally, Buffalo Bills at, at the Tennessee Titans. Buffalo Bills are four and a half, five and five and a half. So we have all three of those numbers available out there, four and a half, five and five and a half. So depending on which side you want to bet, please do shop around. This is a game with a total of 53 and a half. 53 and a half due to the fact that one, the Bills offense coming off this absolute thumping of the Chiefs and they could put some points on the board in a hurry, but also a Tennessee Titans defense that is not quite as bad as the as the uh, Chiefs because no one is. That said, they are bad. It is a very bad defense for this Titans team as well. So looking for the Bills to put up a lot of points on this in this one as well. We will monitor the status of Julio Jones for the Titans. The uh, AJ Brown was able to get back out on the field for the Titans this past week. Could be could be back at full strength. We'll see. We'll monitor the practice reports of Julio Jones this week for the Titans as well. Guys, everything we do absolutely free over on the lines. Just go over to the lines. Just click odds right there. You can see we have it for every single sport, but this will pop up right here. You get the handy dandy um, comparison to everything out there in the market. And of course, you can sign up for the very best deals for, at all of these sports books. You need to have multiple outs. You can see the differences in the numbers and stuff. So be sure and sign up and get the best, best sign up offers that you can get right here over at the lines as well subscribe rate review do all the different things like that thumbs up let us know in the comments all the stuff that you can do to help support us guys really do appreciate it we're going to be giving back to you guys as well but you got to be subscribing to all of our feeds out there in order to know when we're going to do these big giveaways good luck here in week six